if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Let's get to it. Hopefully this is something that uh, uh, you need. There's a million great videos out there on fastener removal. Hope you like the How to Wrench take on it. Please make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that. All right, let's get to it. All right, we need to get everything out of the way. One thing we want to do is get things as clean as we can. I really don't want to use a grinder because I don't want to uh, remove potential any little nub of that old bolt that might be sticking up. So I just go with a wire brush, get it really good and clean, and then uh, then we just go to the bolt bin and try and find a, a nut like you see that'll be just about the size of the hole. I don't want to be too big because I don't want to accidentally weld to the you know the other piece, right? I'm trying to just tack in there to the to the old bolt itself. And uh, as I you know played with the welder settings and looked at this, I'm going to show you complete transparency here where. The, the first one, it, it doesn't work, but you'll see there, I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll weld it up and I want it to uh, cool back down, if you will. And then I'm going to put a wrench on here, as you're going to see. And what I'm going to do is just try really ever so lightly. You'll notice I'm doing back and forth, back and forth. And what I'm trying to do is see if it grabbed, if it bit. And I could tell right away on this one that it, it wasn't working. It was going to, I didn't have enough penetration to the actual base. Um, bolt that's broke off in there, but you don't know till you try. Uh, that allowed me to uh, uh, change my welder settings. Uh, I believe I slowed the wire down, and um, um, you know I had it so fast that it was puddling up really fast and not being able to get that penetration. So I have to clean it, start over, and then just repeat the process until I get a good uh, solid weld. All right, you're going to see me uh, fail again, uh, but I felt which you can't show in the video, but I felt better penetration, so I thought I was getting close. So now you're gonna see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead after the second failure and actually try and just weld right up on the bolt itself and basically build that material up to see if I can have something more to, to bite on or get more penetration. And, uh, and the good news is it does work, so let's go ahead and watch, uh, watch that process as I build that up and then uh, to round three and actually get it to pull up. Notice how the, the nut now just kind of cradles that bump. It makes it really nice to weld and grab, uh, you know, grab that material there and, and get that penetration back between the nut and then the bolt itself from that buildup. You know, I always try to just weld it first. If it doesn't work, this is my immediate go-to secondly, and you'll see it's pretty successful. I, you know, maybe should just do this first, but I'm always trying to do the least amount of welding on there as possible. But uh, now she's cooled down and let's get this out. You could at this point even add some, uh, you know, penetrant oil, some WD-40 or something once it's cooled down enough too. And and just let it soak. Uh, I really don't do that until I, I know that it's coming because then I'd have to clean that penetrating oil off to be able to weld again. So if you're really, really, really sure, um, you could do that. But I uh, just took my time back and forth, back and forth. Like even if it broke at this point, now I got a ton of material, I could go ahead and grab it. But what I'm really trying to do is not damage the threads that are there. What I'm hoping is that I pulled this out good and clean and that the previous person just broke it with the impact and, and that the threads are actually intact on the base material. I seriously think as a creator sometimes, especially in the realm of teaching, <laughs> it just always falls to be the most difficult uh, one but that's funny so obviously you saw how I tried to just weld a nut couldn't get any bite I had to build the the old broken screw out and then I was able to ultimately be successful after three attempts but hey got it out anyway that's how we do it here how to wrench I hope that uh, you're making it a great day I'm gonna get back at it I got a lot of work ahead of me so as always like share subscribe make it a great day and keep wrenching Kind of modifying this, I'm putting this generator rack up here.
to make some room uh, in the truck and all excited just kind of working along having fun decided to uh, weld the base plate so I can unbolt it from there but I ran into a couple of severed bolts on our propane tank mounts this one here was just missing and I kid you not that one in the back corner all I did was I was cleaning you know just cleaning things off went like that and that popped and you know now I'm down to two it started with four it's just one of those things that I could just about guarantee why these broke and it's almost always from I hate to I hate to sound like I'm pick on some picking on someone but inexperienced techs or whatnot they're you know building these I don't know what a lot of skill sets there's just a lot of stuff that's put in I know what's really breaking those is they're using stupid ass giant impacts installing stuff like that I see it all the time so I thought you know what I'll go ahead and just set the camera up and show you how uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these out and then I'm gonna replace all four of them I'm gonna put them in I'm not gonna use an impact I'm just gonna get in there tight and right. Mm -hmm. 